Hi, Ted Kranzler here, and today we're talking about communication. This is something we all do on a daily basis, but how well we communicate, that's another story. As soon as this video is done, you'll have an opportunity to share a two-minute, possibly humorous story about a time in your life when something went wrong in your communication with a family member or coworker. So keep that in mind. I'm going to begin with a story. Everybody loves a good story. The other day I was out running errands and I needed to go by the bank to make a deposit. As I got out of my air-conditioned car, I felt the wave of heat and realized that today was going to be a real scorcher. Walking by some of the other cars in the parking lot, I noticed a small puppy in the front seat of a car, and the windows weren't even cracked to let in the cool air. I remember thinking, I sure hope the owner will be back soon. When I got inside the bank, the line was almost back to the door. There were probably 30 people ahead of me, and the line was moving very slowly. To the right of the line, there were a few offices with windows facing the lobby. On one of these windows, there was a row of those motivational posters. You've seen them before. They have a pretty picture and a big, bold word and a description underneath. This particular one was a, a picture of a lake with a guy rowing across it. And in big letters, it said, well, you probably guessed it. <laughs> That's right, passion. You see, without passion, we just wander aimlessly through life. We need a reason to get up in the morning and a reason to go to work and be the best we can possibly be. As I stood in that line, waiting for what seemed like it had to be 37 minutes, I was reminded of a time when my doctor told me I had to cut out dairy because of the lactose. While he was telling me this, my mind started to wonder. Okay, full disclosure. This video is actually a personality test. If you're wondering if this guy's ever going to make a point, chances are you're a D. If you're still thinking about the two-minute story you're going to deliver at the end, you're probably an I. Now it was Mr. Grendelman. And now it was Mr. Farnsworth. If all you can think about is a fictitious puppy and a hot car, you might be an S. Actually, it was Wyoming. If all the mistakes and incongruencies in the graphics are driving you crazy, you're most likely a C. Reminds me of Mr. Grendelman. He was from Idaho also. He was my favorite teacher. I can still remember what he taught. It was math. Actually, I think it was English. 